Zoma and Uber. I apologize. I would have liked to offer better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Now here is a welcome face. Soma. How fair is Granderbridge? We thrive, just as we did our first year. And I have you to thank for that. The risk I took was far less than you're taking now. I thank you for heeding my call. An oath is an oath, Eivor. Silver gilded and iron clad. Uber Ragnarsson, it puts me at ease to see you here. Welcome. Eivor Wolfkiss tempts me with a swipe at Wessex. Who am I to resist? <laughs> here we might finish the work your father began a decade back. Are you ready? More than ready. I am hungry. What I would give to be there when he appears in Odin's Hall. Old One Eye will have his hands full tonight. But I cannot let my brother lie forgotten in unknown soil. I must take him home. Bury him with what finery I can muster. I understand. May Freya watch your way, Broder. Until we meet again. Aye. Until then. Passing through my lands. How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men are not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. You know the people of this isle better than I, though. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London. And this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking. He's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Attack! Great try, friend. But now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest.
camp is ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man. Now I must see about destroying full case supplies. How will we ever share this land if we kill one another so readily? The weak fall beneath the strong. It has always been so. No. There is more to this world than that. It has to be. Guildford is a town of farmers and grain silos. Uber will be nearby. <laughs> when is that each savior left riches people? What can I get for you? Anything else? All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Aid me, 
be my eyes. Show me. Mice, it is not our way. We are not hiding like field mice. We are stalking like lynxes. Here, this way. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suthex to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers, take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Come at 
me, Saxons. I will cut you down like wheat. Save your energy, Amor. There is more yet. Teeth. Move in, men! Storm the town! Feel my breath on your neck! I'll keep the rat busy! have been destroyed. No more weapons will be made here. My archers and I will return to camp and await your further orders. Hmm? 
What have you discovered? Bridgeware swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. I need your eyes, my friend. Best not to draw attention here. One down, one to go. The other should be somewhere in the keep. On my way. Christ is surely with us.
Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Ah, fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Hunwald. Be ready. Hunwald, Elderman of Lincolnshire. It does have a lordly ring, does it not? Like the name itself was a holy notch waiting for the right peg to fill the space. And how do you find your responsibilities? Well, answering complaints and levying taxes are a bore, to be honest. But the spirit of an Elderman flows in my veins. I shall find a foothold soon enough. Hunwald, Elderman... It does have a lordly... Well... Ever my staunch ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you. What are friends for? So, my Jarlskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Show me what lies ahead. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lufbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deola. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolab. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As a keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live 
if you come here to me and settle this alone? We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls, if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come. Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us, you need only follow his screams. Fulkay! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> Coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? I don't need it. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Clear the way! Let's take down that palisade!
Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? Is this Sigurd's blood? Church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! Feel great. Ah, this door will need the strength of two. Hey, come here. Fulke. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. 
No! No! Brother, brother, I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. You cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Ends here. A pity to kill one with such potential. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? I will bury you in the dark. So you can fight after all. You meddle in matters you do not understand. Wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archer, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl, and you are mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Okay! Damn you to hell! Fulkay! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. On for all time.
That understanding, that gift. You gave in vain. Yes, to awaken him. Fight as a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. 
The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. There is uh, one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uber. Omayal's Connor. It seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. <laughs> wow. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You're brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. Lufina, I'm glad to see you made it through. Be proud, Eivor. You found Sigurd, against the odds. I found his shadow. I must hope that the scars Fulke has inflicted on his mind will heal. Sigurd is strong. It will take more than pain to break him. You did not see him. There was an emptiness in his eyes. I am sorry to hear that. Let us hope for the best. I could not have taken this forth without your archers, Hunvald. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. Hunvald! It does have a lordly... Well... Where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Randvi, Randvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, let us drink and eat. 
in honor of his return. And now, I will delight you with a poem in praise of the man. A new composition of my own. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Andre, Sigurd has been through so much. Be patient with him. Of course. I cannot imagine. The savagery of that woman, Folke. For all her wretchedness, she seemed to... to like him. I know that sounds strange. How do you mean? She claimed to know him, to admire him. Said he was a greater man than we could ever know. Yet for all her praise, she tortured him to the brink of madness and death. I do not understand why. In time, Sigurd may come around. And if he does, he may be willing to speak. Before that time, it would be best to keep all discussions about... about us... to yourself. Of course. Now is not the time. I have no guilt nor regret for what we have done. But we should be careful. Agreed. Thank you. And know that however far away... You are always in my thoughts. I know. I feel the same. Ranvi. Not yet. Soon. Ranvi. Have you spoken with Sigurd yet? Not yet. Sigurd gone. See you, old friend. In the cemetery. His mood is dark. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he's loved and cherished, where he's meant to be. Your kind, 
your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news.